Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on the Honda GL 1100, the Gold Wing. We're going to get the engine back together again. We've got a few bits missing still. I'm still missing the rubber that goes around the timing belt cover. Um, and we'll see if the rubbers that I've got are in good condition for the rocker covers. We'll get this all cleaned up and get the water lines on and the covers on and see if we can get it ready to get the carburetors on and get it back into the frame. Right, let's get on with it. First up, I'm setting the valve clearances. Both exhaust and inlet gaps should be set to 0.1 millimeter. To do this, I turn the crankshaft till both valves on cylinder one are closed. Turning the crankshaft clockwise while trying to move the exhaust and inlet rockers. When they both don't move, the valves are closed. And then I turn the crank some more until I can see T1 marked on the flywheel, shown in the picture here. This indicates the cylinder one is in top dead center. Now I can check and set the clearances on cylinder 1's inlet and exhaust, as well as cylinder 3's exhaust and cylinder 4's inlet. Using a 10mm spanner I loosen off the lock nut and use a flat screwdriver to loosen and tighten the adjuster. Using a 0.1mm feeler gauge to check the gap and then tightening the lock nut while holding the adjuster in place with the screwdriver and then checking the valve clearance once more with the feeler gauge. Now by turning the crank by another 360 degrees until the T1 mark lines up again, this puts cylinder two into top dead center. Now I can check the valve clearances on cylinder two's exhaust and inlet and cylinder four's exhaust and cylinder three's inlet using the same process as I did before. A quick clean of the rockers. and the rocker box covers get a clean before the rubbers are fitted and it's all attached to the engine. Now I'm using some shop cloth to block the holes into the engine to stop any debris from falling into the engine so I can give the whole engine case a good scrub. Next, the thermostat casing along with the connecting pipes, all with new rubber o-rings, gets fitted. Next the thermostat and cover go on, again with new rubber o-rings. Next the timing belt cover goes on along with the rubber packing. I found the easiest way to get this on was to fit the front cover loosely first and then squeeze the rubber into place. The left goes on first followed by the right. Here 
here I'm fitting the radiator top and bottom hoses along with their wire guards. Now I'm fitting the thermostat switch and temperature sender unit. These get fitted with new rubber o-rings. And finally the plug goes on to close the inspection hole I used to see the marks for top dead center on the crank. This also gets a new o-ring. That's the GL1000 back together again. So we've built her up, put all the gaskets back in, talked everything down so next time we can marry it back to the frame and get the radiator in and start building the back up together again. So if you like what I did, hit the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Please subscribe if you're not already and consider hitting the notification button so you know when I release a new video and take care of yourselves.